What's up everyone? Welcome back to Ton Time. Today we will be unboxing this APC uh, battery replacement pack for this uh, APC Backup Pro 1000 UPS. So I bought this about five years ago. Battery typically lasts about three to four years. Um, mine lasts a little bit longer than that, but it decided to die. So as you can see from the indicator here, when the battery is blinking, and it was also making a loud audible noise. It actually woke me up like it, at around midnight, uh, just telling me that, hey, I'm dead, finally. So battery's dead. So a blinking battery light like this means the charge uh, the battery, rechargeable batteries in here in this UPS is no longer uh, working at its efficient rate. So instead of buying a new UPS, because I think this thing costs around $160 new, you could just get a replaceable battery pack. I think this one costs only $80, I think, $80, $90. I'll put the link on that um, Amazon link below in the description. But yeah, let's go ahead. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up first and then we'll do an unboxing of that and then I'll go ahead and install the um, battery in here uh, as we do it live. So let's go ahead and open it up. So first thing first, uh, you definitely wanna power it off. So just hold down the power button. It clicks off and then I'm going to unplug it from the surge protector so you want to make sure that there's no power whatsoever you want this completely off you don't want to shock yourself so the battery compartment I believe is underneath here so yep so I'm just gonna put this upside down two tabs here as you can see I'm gonna have push it down and slide it forward so this is what the battery looks like and it's oh wow it's actually kind of warm because I had it plugged in earlier so so battery pack look on the bottom just flip upside down um, probably better to uh, I'm gonna move this out of the way put it on the side like this and then they have these tabs here that you can pull out so just pull it out like that and it's pretty much easy there's no wires uh, there's a positive negative terminal that just plugs right inside as you can see here so there's no wires the older models the wire would come out and then you kind of had to fidget it but this one's a little bit easier it's like cartridge style you just pull out pull it in so that's everything out batteries out okay so one thing about this this battery backup is a Pro 1000, so there's a hack. I didn't do it because I just, um, I only have this power in my laptop and I didn't need to uh, spend money on a more expensive battery. But you can actually get a nine amp version, nine amp hours, and this would pretty much turn your Pro 1000 to a Pro 1500, giving it a little bit more um, life. Uh, if you had a power outage, it will uh, keep your device on longer. So if you want to do that, you could you could pick up a, a 1500, a Pro 1500 battery, and it will just slide in. Dimensions the same. The only difference is the battery capacity. So that's a hack there if you want to do it. But I'm just gonna keep with the stock battery because it was roughly twenty dollars cheaper, and I didn't want to spend $20 for something that I know that, you know, it's just powering on my laptop. So I didn't want to spend $20 just for nothing. If, it, if it's powering your gaming PC or you have a high draw um, computer, you might want to opt in for a bigger battery pack so your device stays on longer. Okay, so we got the battery out, easy. You saw that, it's toolless. Clip, two clips, pull it down, pull battery out. Let's go ahead and Unbox this guy here. Okay, so this is brand new, straight from APC itself. I didn't buy the aftermarket one. I like to stick with the uh, manufacturer batteries. I, I've dealt with third party batteries and it, it tends to die faster on me. So I like to uh, keep with 
keep keep with the same brand. So yeah, as you can see, see it's an APC battery, authentic ABC, APC battery. So here's everything in the box. Here you got your instructions that no one will read. More instructions. So. Pretty much telling you how how all of this works, what kind of battery backup you have. Obviously, we have um, something like this, but there's, it works for different models as well, as you can see. So, don't need to look at the instructions since I kind of know what I'm doing. This is for this model. If you have like a rack mount battery, so they have visual instructions on what kind of units you have and what you need to do. Battery here itself looks exactly the same. So let's go ahead and pull out a box here. Oh, it's red in the back. Let's see if this is red too. Oh yeah, it is red. Yep, but we all know how we want to insert it. On the green area here. So this is a new battery. And one thing about APC batteries also is what's cool is they actually have someone to test the battery before they ship it. So if you look on the receipt here, it's also signed off by someone, battery voltage and impedance uh, pass. So I noticed that on all the APC battery, they always have someone testing the batteries before they ship it out, which is good. So I'm gonna show them peel that out. So that's the, you don't need that on there. So yeah, as you can see, it looks exactly the same. Again, this is a seven amp hour one. You could get the nine one if you want, but I just decided to uh, keep it Pro 1000. So now pretty much easy to do. It says insert this way. You see, here's the cartridge here. You just pretty much um, slide it in like this and once you slide it in you're done so let's go ahead and do that so let me move myself over to this side here so i'm going to slide this bad boy in so you kind of feel a little uh, feedback uh clip once it slides into place so once that happens just make sure everything's in order Put the label down and then make sure this one's on rails there's a sliding rail mechanism so don't, don't do this it, it won't lock in you need to slide it in on the rails and then clip it in and bam you are done instead of spending money on a new APC unit Pretty much just do that. It takes it takes only like a few minutes. It's real easy. So I'm gonna plug it in again. All right. So I have it plugged in. So now I'm going to turn it on. As you can see, battery stopped blinking. So it's empty right now, so it's charging. And it actually tells you the estimated runtime in minutes. So right now it's, it's testing on battery and then it's back down. So it runs, whenever you power this on, it, it does a self test on the battery to see if it's good. And in this case, it's good. If it's bad, it will blink this battery icon again and um, the audible alarm will turn on. So yeah, you're pretty much done after that. So again, battery is low, so it's just charging right now. I don't have any load because there's nothing plugged into this UPS right now. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. And see, I'm buying a new UPS, just buy a battery. It's a lot cheaper. I'll go ahead and put the link below for both batteries, the 1500, uh, the nine, nine amp hour one for uh, Pro 1500 unit, which works in the Pro 1000. And I'll um, put this one on the bottom of the link as well. So yeah, as you can see, pretty easy, save you some money, reuse the UPS. A lot of people, when they hear the UPS die, they just toss the UPS and buy a new one. It's just a lot better just to buy the battery. 
and always good to stick with the brand that or don't get a third uh, aftermarket one. I think you get all the standard warranty and everything for that too. So there you have it guys. Just gotta wait for this to charge up and then I'm good to go and I should be good for another hopefully five years. So this has been another Tom Time Review. Thank you for watching and like always, click that like button, follow the channel if you like the video. If you don't like the video, unlike it and tell me why. <laughs> but aside from that, thank you for watching guys. Have a great day, stay safe, and yeah, always, thank you.